Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, first things first, I just want to apologise for not actually finishing Vlogmas. Um, everything just got really on top of me and I just I just come out of it without putting too much pressure on myself so I just, just stopped. But today I wanted to film what Lilith got for Christmas because it's her first Christmas. I'm going to love to look back on this in the future and all my babes are in bed and it's half nine so I'm in the process of tidying up and sorting things out so I wanted to just go through everything she received and yeah I think she's been a very lucky girl today. So I'm not starting in no order for like people or anything I'm just going from what I can gather from around me. Um, you may have seen these in one of my videos these are actually something me and Dan got for her they're just these wooden puzzles which I thought were quite nice they're really quite easy it says for two plus um so my daughter is six months old she's called Lilith and this is her first Christmas and it, I think it's quite hard to buy for a six month old because they have no want they have no needs um so you're just kind of going on what you think will suit them best and I've gone for a lot of educational slash development toys so one of the first things I got were these wooden puzzles, well I got Lily got, were these wooden puzzles. Um, it says these are for two years plus, I picked these ones up myself. Um, but I think she'll just quite like them as she gets older. She then received this activity cube which is so cute, it's wooden, um, it's got loads of different things on it. We can teach her the time over the years and yeah it's just a really nice toy and I absolutely love it. I think that's really good for the six month old as they're growing up. She got a few books, um, again these ladybird, whatever they are, uh, the ones with like a ladybird on them, you probably have seen on my channel but she also got a good night little bear book as well. She received some mini bubbles um, in her stocking, um, she really likes bubbles. She received this plate and bowl set from my auntie so I don't know what that is to her but I think this is really cute and I'm really appreciative of that. We then have this ball drop thing, um, the ball's just in the bottom here. She received this off her nanny, my mummy, um, and they're just soft fabric cubes that make noises that you can hear and they just rip apart which is quite cool. This ball which lights up, she loves lights. Uh, these stacking cups, these obviously aren't stacked but um, this snail thing I don't know what it is um, you drag it along and this turns at the same time uh, you put things in there's also little beads on the other side to play with some rubber duck another really cute uh, puzzle she received this wooden puzzle from my mum which I really like this Fisher Price thing it's like a honey jar and you just kind of put the shapes all the way through um, I received this she received this from another one of my aunties. This little rattle which says my first Christmas on it. Don't know if you're going to be able to see. Yeah, there we go. It says my first Christmas and she loves rattles. She loves to put them in her mouth and just chew them so they get absolutely soaked with saliva. She received this Hatchimals from her great nan. She received this Lamaze dolly, I think it's called like Emily or something. Um, from my dad and it also comes with this little beady necklace thing there. She received one rattle from me and, oh it's so noisy, another rattle with a teddy bear's face on from uh, Dan's nan. This stacking unit, um, not much to it, just plastic, you can chew on them. These really pretty pink maracas, wooden maracas, which she loves, she's been playing with them all day. It's skip hop plate and bowl set which I fell in love with as soon as I saw it in John Lewis when I went shopping with my dad on the 23rd and she want, she wanted, my dad wanted to pick this up for Lilith and I, I love it, I think it's so cute and I love all the skip hop range. This toy that you just press down and things spin around and these really cute cube, I've got more of them, I just can't hold them, um, bath toys again, these probably won't go in the bath, I just don't want any mould living in these so I'll probably just get her like a sailing boat or something really cheap that can't keep water in from like a pound shop or something. She then received a Peter Rabbit from her granddad, my dad, um, which is really cool, it pays, 
plays peekaboo with this, it goes up above the size, keeps her amused. She received these re two really cute teddies from Dan's and they're super soft and I think they're just really pretty teddies. See, this bear, which um, I've turned it off now because she's not in her room and I don't want to waste anything, um, but when you press its belly, you can set it up for night time and it sits in a car and it's red uh, when she's meant to be sleeping and she can't get up and green when she can and I think this is really cool. I've also got another thing. I'll try and move it so you can see it. Up in that corner there, you'll have to excuse my front room, there, I don't know where I'm pointing to, um, it's an Ollie the Owl and I, I said to my dad that I really liked it and I think Lily would really like it when she goes into her own room but I didn't actually thought, I didn't actually think he picked it up so when I saw it I was really surprised and really happy that she'd got it. Um, so yeah, she's got an Ollie the Owl. My nan has always given her kids and us kids Care Bears, so she's carried it on and got Lilith a Sunshine Care Bear, which I love. I love Care Bears and I'm always going to. My mum picked her up this unicorn pram suit, really fluffy. It's all for the next size up, which she needs, and that's what I instructed everyone to do if they were buying clothes, to just get the next size up. Um, I love it. We need a new one because her pink one is getting on the smaller side now this three pack of tops that me and Dan brought her, I say me and Dan, it was me, um, but I picked up them all out. Uh, they're actually boy tops, um, but I thought they were really cute and they go with these little jogging bottoms that I picked up for her. I figured she's going to start calling soon and these are six to nine months and she's already coming up to seven months. So um, she's still not going to quite be in these, they're still going to be really big on her, but I just thought the pink and the yellow goes really nice. I quite like the idea of that and yeah, I just thought these tops and these joggers really go, and I don't really care. My sister <laughs> got her this. Uh, it says, I love Auntie Karis, um, because her name's Karis, which is really cute and quite funny. So she's going to keep this forever. My dad in John Lewis picked up this sleeper with no feet, which has dinosaurs on it, and it's the nicest thing I've ever seen. And then he also picked up this knitted kind of one with rabbits on, I think. Um, again, it's footless and I love it. My nan gave her, her great nan gave her this super thick sleeper, um, which is super bright and just super girly and I love it. Um, I think these are really good in the winter slash spring months because if she gets ill, they're good for her because they're thick and they're really good for her to sleep in on extra cold nights. We received this little legging and dress um, set. It was reduced in Tesco. These are what me and Dad got her, so I never took the prices off. Um, but yeah, it's got unicorns, and the pattern on it is just super, super cute. Another dress and leggings. This one's more pink. Um, the pattern on it again, I really yeah, it's super springy. I think this one's either like really quite autumny or springy. It can go for both, which I really like. Uh, just a long sleeve top and unicorn legging pants. Um, set again from Tesco and then Dan's mum and family brought her this really cute dress which says princess on it and that is what she is she is a princess it also came with a long sleeve top so that is it for the video I've remembered everything I think um, I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have be sure to subscribe to my channel I do more videos like this um, and yeah, I've got a super spoiled princess. I really hope you've had a really good Christmas, all of you, and a brilliant new year. Um, I hope you have a good new year. What am I saying? That don't make sense. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see you all in my next video. Bye.